Hey everyone, upon the recommendation of historian Thaddeus Russell, I popped up my Amazon account and started watching 1917 by Sam Mendes. It's a great flick. I will recommend it. I haven't really watched a war movie in a long time. Being an anti-imperialist, anti-war type of guy, it's hard for me to watch a lot of these things that really spew a narrative or a story that promotes imperialism colonialism, warfare, that type of thing, kind of senseless mass murder when you take the euphemism of war away. But this one was interesting. This one was different. Rather than focusing on a thousand different characters, although it did have those, it focuses on a much narrower group of characters. The beauty of this film is that it shows you how ugly war is. You see disease, pestilence you see dead human bodies dead animal bodies destruction fire the general malaise of the colors also kind of brings your mood down and reminds you of the gravity of of war you see the effects of war on mothers on babies on infantry you see various levels of the stratification or hierarchy within the military having their own opinions about matters, some driven by bloodlust, some driven by orders. And you see a kind of harrowing story of, uh, I think it's based on a, a true story of a corporal and a private who are sent on a mission to go relay a message that may save just a few more lives, something to the effect of, 1600 lives whether that's worth it or not whether when they or if they get there the commanding officer wants to hear them that's up for you to see and so i encourage you to to watch this movie and again focus on the narrowness of the characters the sort of beige malaise of the colors of the movie the heartbeat skipping loneliness that you can find in war and also the sort of brotherhood bond that could be formed in such a horrendous situation it's the fast of the holy virgin mary in the good is right tradition and one of the things from a text called the praise of mary that the good is right attributes to ephraim the syrian has a line on monday that says where there are a multitude of sins, there also can be found the grace of God. Where there are a multitude of sins, there too can be found the grace of the, of the Lord or the grace of God. So I think that that's applicable as well to 1917 in terms of the brotherhood that could be found within utter destruction and despondency. Enjoy the flick.